This contains strong language, sexual scenes, and references from the outset and throughout. My favourite memory of being in the house with Gaz is the very first time me and him walked in together because he's one of the reasons that I was on Jolly Show. I haven't really got a funniest memory of Gaz as the kid, it's literally hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got that many good times with him, I can't just pick one. What I'm going to miss most about being with Gaz is he's literally my right hand man. Wherever I went, he went, and wherever he went, I went. <laughs> When I filmed last time and he wasn't there, he was a big fucking miss. The house is going to be different without Gaz because he was like the kind of father figure who everyone would go to if they had a problem because he was a longer serving member. Now he's not there, I've kind of taken on his role. It's weird, but of course he's, he's a massive character and he's going to be a fucking huge miss. Gaz would be an amazing dad. I've seen him with kids, I've seen him with his sisters, and I think the time is right to settle down and have a baby, and he's looking forward to it. What advice can I give Gaz? You're going to have to give me advice because you're going to be the one who's a dad first. Speaking of Gaz previously, I think he does want a big family, but that might change when the first kid arrives. I don't think he realises how hard it's going to be. Yeah, I think he'd have a few more. I think Gaz will want to teach his little boy football, sports, because Gary's very competitive. So I guarantee his son is going to be exactly like he is. Important message for Gaz, all the best in being a father. I know you're going to be fucking amazing at it and I can't wait to meet the new baby. But if I have a kid, I am praying that it's not going to be a girl. I think you know why. So if I hopefully I have a boy and then them two can be just like me and Gaz. Boom! Done. How are they? Oh no, oh no.